In this video, I want to show you how to install and run FIDE OS as a virtual machine in VMware Workstation. The first step is to download and install VMware Workstation Player, which is a free download from VMware. So open your web browser, go to VMware.com, Hover over Downloads and choose Free Product Downloads. On the right, you have Workstation Player. Click on it. And here I have Windows 10 running, so I'm going to be downloading the Workstation Player for Windows 10. Click on Download Now. And the download will begin. It's a short download, so it should be fast. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the file was downloaded. And here you see the file that is downloaded. Double click on it to install it. So follow the instruction to install it. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. So here I'm going to select Enhanced Keyboard Driver. This option will force us to restart after installation. It's not a big deal. We wanted to check for updates. I don't want to join the VMware customer community. And I want to create two shortcuts. Click on Next. And now it will be installed. Once the installation finishes, just click on Finish. Forget about license because we are going to use the player version, so we don't need the license. Just click on Finish. And now you'll be prompted to restart. So you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So click on Yes. When the computer restarts, we need now to download the virtual machine from FIDOS website. So go to your web browser once again and key in FIDOS.com You'll see that the website is in Chinese and doesn't have an English language version. So here the new Microsoft Edge proposes to translate it to English. So I'm going to click on Translate. And you see here we have Download the Experience. Click on it. And this is the version we need to download, FIDOS for VMware. Click on Download directly. And wait for the download to finish. As you see, the download is big, so I downloaded it before. I'm going to cancel this one and use the one I downloaded before, which is the same. The next step is to open VMware Workstation. And here you need to choose for the first time that we are using it for free for non-commercial use at home. So click on continue, click on finish. And here you see this is VMware Workstation. Now we need to import the virtual machine that we downloaded from FIDOS. So here it's proposing to upgrade to VMware Workstation Pro. We don't need this. So like skip this version. And now, to import the virtual machine, click on Open a Virtual Machine and go to the folder where you downloaded the FIDOS VM, OVA. Click on it, click Open. And here it populates automatically. So leave everything by default and click on Import. You will receive this warning. Just click on Retry. It will succeed. And it is importing the virtual machine now. The import of the virtual machine is finished now. Before we start it, we need to configure one small setting so to give it access to the internet. So click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. And go to Network Adapter. And make sure you select NAT 
instead of bridged. So click on that and click on OK. And now you can start the virtual machine. Let's start it. At first start here, it will ask us VMware Workstation that we need to download some packs. So click on it. And you see here VMware is updating VMware player for Linux because it detected that Fido S is based on Linux and Fido S is starting now. So keep both and let's wait for it to start. This software update will be performed in the background. You don't have to worry, it will not restart the player. And here Fido S now, it should continue. Let me put this in full screen mode. This is the Fido S startup screen. As you see, it is in Chinese. If you want to change it to another language, click this globe here. And I'm going to choose English. So English United States. Here it is. And then the keyboard is selected at US directly. If you have another keyboard, of course, select the keyboard that you have. Click on OK. And now here, if you want to change your time zone, you can change it. I'm going to change mine to match where I live. Click OK. And now you can click on Let's Go. Now, because this is a virtual machine and we configured the NATing in the virtual machine in VMware player, the Ethernet is connected directly to the Internet. Click Next. And this is a license agreement the first time. Scroll and click on Agree and Continue. It will check for updates the first time it starts. Give it a moment. Here it reverted to Chinese. I don't know why. There is a workaround for this if you want this to be displayed in English. This is basically here it's telling you to put your telephone number. This is the email option and this is more options. But the workaround to display this in English is to browse first time as guest. I'm going to do it. So I'm going to click on the bottom left corner as you see browse as guest. Once you browse as guest, it will be in English. We are going to exit the guest mode. Here, exit guest. Give it a moment. And you see it will be displayed in English. So, the first time, if you don't have a Fido S account, you need to create one. To create one, you click on more options and create account. You need a telephone number that can accept SMS messages, text messages, and you need an email account to create it. I've already created mine, so I'm going to log in with my phone number. Next, it will ask me for my password, and this is my password. Next. This is the first login. It will open Chromium directly. You can exit if you want. And these are the applications on the left here. These are your applications that are already pre-installed. So you have some applications. And you see here you have an application called Android. This is the Android settings that will allow us to install the Google Play Store. I'm going to get back to this in a couple of seconds. On the right here you have your settings. And you see here we are connected and we are signed in and there are other bunch of settings. So now let's go and activate Android. To activate it, you need to click here. And then if it doesn't appear here, just click on the arrow and click Android. At first launch, it's going to ask you to agree with the license agreement. So click Agree and click on Launch. And you see this is the Android settings. Once you accept the license agreement, Google Play Store will be downloaded in the background. You don't see anything here. If I click here, I'm going to see that it's downloaded and it is turned on now. But you don't see any application here. So to make it stick here, you can either click here to open it and then right click and choose pin. 
or also if you missed this notification that was here what you can do is that you can go to search and put Google Play hit enter and you see the first one here just click on it it will be launching the Google Play directly it's not from the internet this is the application so it's not a web app it's an application that is installed I'm gonna close the browser and this is Google Play the first time you need to sign in so don't forget to pin it here just to make things easier for you and it will be pinned here always sign in now with your Google account I'm gonna cancel the updates so that I can sign in and we'll leave the updates to be installed later this is a sign on screen of Google Play so I am logging in with my Gmail account put your password click on next agree to the terms you're free to choose here the option you want I'm gonna leave it as it is and here you have your Google Play Store it's open you can install the application you want let's install for instance YouTube click on search YouTube and this is YouTube install you can click here on continue I'm not gonna put a payment method now so it will be installed now YouTube let's close the Google Play Store now I'm going to show you now the Fido S web store also. So click on this to expand it. You see you have the YouTube application here. So you can run your Android applications here and you can also run other applications that are from the Fido S store. I'm going to click on the Fido S store. It's basically a web extension store here. So also here you have some apps that you can install. SoundCloud, Dropbox, so this is the Fido S web store. I'm not going to install anything from it because I'm going to be using the Android apps. And here, as you see, let's start YouTube and you see it will start promptly. And it will log me in also with the user that I use to log into the Google Play Store. As you see here, it's working. Don't hesitate to comment on this video and tell me your opinion about Fido S or other operating system you're using or you want me to do videos on. I want to thank you all for watching and I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.